it's Half. I am back again and I am going to do some more comparisons of nail polishes in my collection. Um, I did film my orange collection the other day but uh, Angela asked to see pinks first. Um, I have so many of them that I've had to divide this up into three videos because otherwise the video would be an hour long. Um, so I am going to be using some leftovers on some ones from other videos to do these ones. I um, have a limited supply of swatch willy things. So um, yeah, so we will start with pink, the pale pinks um, and in the next two videos we'll move on to brighter pinks. So I am going to start with these two here. These are actually both fairly new to my collection. Um, a lot of these are kind of in pairs sort of thing. Um, so this first one here is a uh, pink pineapple from Revlon which I bought only for its name because this is not generally a colour that I gravitate towards. And the other one is Nebline from um, Maybelline Colour Show 60 Second Line. They're both a very pale pink with a slight peach sheen to them. So let's get to swatching. These might not show up great on my swatch wheel. <laughs> Just so you know. Because um, I'm not using clear ones. I don't really like clear ones because it makes it too obvious when the polish is terrible. <laughs> so this is pink pineapple. As you can see it is quite light. But definitely slightly pink. And the Maybelline Colour Show again with the lips. Instantaneously tell that this one has a more opaque formula than the Revlon one. Much more opaque. So the next pair I am going to look at is this OPI which I'm not sure which collection it comes from. I think it's the French collection. Um, this is Passion which looks horrible in the bottle and I haven't even had it for that long and I'm going to compare it to this one from BYS which as I've said before is a brand in Australia um, this one is called Baby Pink and they both have that same coloured discoloration down the bottom of it which suggests they have very much the same pigments in them so, OPI Passion is, on the first coat, is <laughs> virtually invisible on my swatchy thing. Make a great base for, like, doing nail art on, because you can't see it. Um, if you didn't want your base to show, but you wanted to uh, use, like, acrylic uh, paint, is when you use acrylic paint you don't want to um, put it on a bare nail you need to put it over some kind of nail polish and baby pink from BYS has again more pigment to it more slightly more opacity not a whole lot quite frankly so those are the first two pairs Now we're going to look at a trio, it's three here, so we have by uh, Sephora by OPI, this is a True Romantic, we have Opera Ballerina from L'Oreal, it doesn't have its name on it but trust me that's what it is, it's Opera Ballerina, which is basically the colour of uh, ballet leotards. And this one which is a bit newer to my collection, this came out of uh, Ulta 3's 
advent calendar. This is Pale Dahlia. Uh, this one actually has a very, very slight shimmer to it. But we will see. Because quite often shimmers that undetectable in the bottle um, don't really show up. So we have a true romantic from Sephora by OPR. Not very visible. It is there, but it's not very, very visible. I know for a fact that Opera Ballerina is very much the same. Um, as you can see, I've actually, I don't know if you can see, see that line there. Um, I've actually used quite a bit of this one. This one is one of the ones that's in my to use up. Um, and the fact that they're both so pale, they kind of look identical at the moment. And then Pale Dahlia from Ulta 3. Um, as soon as I put that to the thing, I saw the shimmer. So, yeah, and it's got more colour to it. It might not be very obvious. Like, in the viewfinder, I can't basically see anything. In person, I can tell that this one has a bit more colour to it. And it would be great for those people who only like, like, a really subtle kind of look to the nail. Uh, the next three... Uh, these three here. So, from Sinful Colours, we have Starfish. From OPI, this is the same collection that Passion came from. This is a Tickle My Francie, which again looks ugh, awful in the middle. And this one is actually a textured polish, so it's not exactly the same, but the colour is very similar. This is from Academy of Colour, which is a brand that is sold at Kmart. These do not have names. Um, they often come in packs with nail art and they never have a name. <laughs> so that one has no name. So I will start with Tickle Me, Tickle My Francie from OPI. You can see this is quite a dusky, uh, fleshy sort of colour. And the sinful colours starfish. Uh, it's a lot more pink on the nail than tickle my fancy. Much more pink. And the Academy of Colour Textured Polish. It is a lot thicker, a lot more opaque. But the colour is actually, it's almost between the two of them. Um, the Academy of Colour ones also have a quite distinctive smell um, which borders on almost unpleasant. Um, just so you know if you're in Australia and you're thinking of buying it. And the last ones, which I'll start on a fresh, freshy. I have these two here. This one here is Cotton Candy or Scented Pastel Purple, which is funny because it's very pink to me, from BYS. And I'm going to compare it with the perennial Mod About You from OPI, which doesn't make a Mod About You from OPI. And considering how many pale pinks I have in my collection, this was the only one that came close to being the same colour. So I will do the BYS first because that's the one I opened the ball first on. 
is actually quite sheer on the first coat. about you is much more opaque and much more pink. It's actually really a very unique colour in my collection, quite frankly. I really don't have anything else like that in my collection. So we will go back to our first ones. So pink pineapple from Revlon. I really hate these brushes. See this brush? It's teeny tiny and ugh, so annoying. And like most of my nails are quite long so I have to do this kind of thing or I have to re-dip in and reapply in order to get full coverage. That is actually not even full coverage with uh, two coats. Like, it's actually patchy. It's probably hard for you to see that, but to the naked eye, it's a bit patchy. And the Nebline from Maybelline Color Show 60 Second Line, which I have to say, I don't like as much as the original Maybelline Color Show. Because that's kind of a little bit patchy. And you think with the 60 second one it would be a bit more opaque. But colour wise, um, they're not really the same. They look kind of similar in the bottle, but on the nail they really don't look the same at all. I would go with the Maybelline Colour Show though over the Revlon, even if it does smell vaguely of pineapples. Um, it's a slightly better formula. So... Um, OPI Passion This would be the perfect polish to do a French manicure with as the nail part of French manicure because even though I'm putting on like a really thick coat it's really quite hard to see on the nail like it is there but it will more just give your nails that healthy look. It won't, there's no way you could build this up to um, cover your nail line. You would always have like a visu visu visible nail line. And a baby pink from BYS. There's actually a lot of similarity between the two colours. Um, clearly BYS has more pigment to it. Um, more opacity to it, not a huge amount, you'd probably want, like in three coats you could probably get it completely opaque, but certainly not not really in two coats, you'd still have a visible nail line. But in terms of their colour, they actually are pretty similar. In terms of formula and coverage, I would be going with the BYS, apart from the fact it's about a third of the price of a full bottle of OPI. So, those are the first four. No real dupes there, just a lot of kind of similar polishes. They're all pink, there's that. <laughs> so back to this one which looks like literally, like there is nothing on these three here except this one has a, this one here has a slight shimmer to it. So a True Romantic from Sephora by OPI. I actually have only three bottles of Sephora by OPI. Um, they're not my favourite. <laughs> Colours are a bit naff too. Actually, no, it's four bottles, I believe. Um, that is two coats. Again, it's a lot like... Um, it's actually a lot more similar to Tickle... Um, sorry, Passion from OPI. They're actually very similar. Passion and um, A True Romantic. Um, Passion's just a bit more, um, almost got more brown or peach to it. 
um, but they're a lot more similar than they would have first appeared to uh, Opera Ballerina from L'Oreal. Now it's going to be hard for you guys to see probably, but what I can tell, and of course as I've said before, I won't be able to tell until I edit, edit the video. These two are actually quite close, but this one has more white in it. Um, this one is more fleshy, if that's a good way of putting it. It's got a bit more peach, orange kind of colouring to it. This one is more, is much closer to white for a start. But they are actually pretty similar. Um, I think I probably prefer the L'Oreal. Um, I like their brushes and the way they apply. But those two are actually ridiculously similar. Um, and Pale Dahlia, which is a similar colour vein, but builds up a lot more. On the second coat, and the shimmer becomes actually a lot more noticeable. Um, again, I just, I notice from a distance that it's more in the same colour vein as Passion um, in a lot of ways. But these three are very similar. If you like a shimmer, you'd probably prefer the Ultra 3. And these two, I mean, there is difference, but on the nail, I don't think you'd really notice it too much, so it depends on, like, the L'Oreal is obviously easier to get hold of. Um, you can still buy Opera Ballerina on L'Oreal's website. I don't know if you can get it in stores, but I know you can get it on their website. Um, the Sephora by OPI is, I think that's a discontinued line, so that would be really hard to come by. So, yeah, I'd probably go with the L'Oreal if you wanted a pale pink in that kind of vein. Then we go on to the other trio, which is Tickle My Francy from OPR. Which actually builds up quite nicely on the second coat. that was. A spider decided to come a little too close to me. I don't know if I killed him, but I certainly scared him. <laughs> uh, dear. Um, starfish from Simple Colors. Uh, clearly a lot uh, pinker than the OPI. This one has a lot more brown to it. This one is more of a pink. And the textured polish from W7, not W7, Academy of Colour. Wow. Brain didn't. This gets super thick when you put two coats on. It really is just better at it. If you do one decent coat to start off with and not have to do the second coat. But a lot of textures are like that. Um, they tend to get, you have to put such a thick second coat on that gets like super duper thick. In terms of colour, it is lighter than the Sinful Colours. Um, kind of like a baby between the two of them, as I said before. Similar, but... Um, I actually prefer the textured look out of these three. I would probably wear that one over these two. Um, but the Sinful Colours formula-wise is probably the better of these three. So that's those ones. And then our last two 
the um, scented pastel purple cotton candy one from BYS, which I can't say really smells like cotton candy to me. Um, it is still a fairly sheer polish after two coats. It's um, you'd probably still have a visible nail line. The What About You from OPI, which clearly is not the same colour. Um, I actually, I don't know whether it's just my bottle, but the BYS was actually easier to apply. I had to finesse a little bit more with the OPI, but they're, they're clearly not the same colour. The OPI is a lot more pink and it actually is a lot brighter than you're expecting it to be when you look at it in the bottle it looks super pastel and then you put it on the nail and it's actually quite a bright it's a bright but light pink but way brighter than you're expecting it's not really what I'd consider a baby pink it's almost too bright for that but that's just my personal opinion. So again, similar, but definitely not the same. So that's it for the first part of this pink comparison video. I will be back with part two. If you want to subscribe, click down there. Click the little notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. Yeah.